Hello and welcome to the next part of the Holy Week story. We've already seen or heard the story of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on the donkey when the crowds were singing Hosanna and were welcoming him into Jerusalem. And today we're going to hear a story which happened a little bit later on during the week. It's the story of the Last Supper. So if you just listen, you can now hear the story. The Story of the Last Supper It was almost time for the Passover celebration. Jesus told Peter and John to go into the city where they would see a man carrying a water jar. They should follow him home and say, The teacher needs your room for the Passover meal. Then Jesus told them the man would show them an upper room that they could use. So the two disciples did as they were told and soon found the man carrying a water jar, just as Jesus said. So they followed him to see where he would go. The man finally came to a house and inside Peter and John followed them and Jesus said, at once, the man showed them a large upper room, just as Jesus said. They began preparing the room and the food for the Passover meal. There was no servant to wash the disciples' feet when they arrived. During the Passover meal, Jesus wrapped a towel round him and began to wash the disciples' feet. Jesus told them, he wanted them to have the attitude of a servant and be prepared to help each other. Love and serve each other as I am serving you now, Jesus said. During the Passover meal, Jesus said that someone was going to betray him. All the disciples wondered who he meant. Jesus told Judas, do what you must do quickly. Judas left the room to go and betray Jesus to the chief priests. Jesus then took some bread and spoke a blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to the disciples. This is my body given to you. Do this to remember me. Then Jesus took the cup of wine and saying thanks to God, he gave it to his disciples to drink, saying, This is my blood. Make a new agreement with God. My blood will be poured out to forgive sins. After drinking, they sung a hymn and then followed Jesus out towards the Mount of Olives. And what a lovely story that was and a very special story right at the end is Thursday of Holy Week that we think about that in the churches and it helps us remember that service of Holy Communion remember in the story it says how Jesus said do this to remember me and we do that in church every single week we do it during the week as well. We have some services during the week in which, as the story said, and as Jesus did in the story, he took the cup, he took bread, and he broke the bread. And it reminds us of that Last Supper and it helps us to remember Jesus. He said, do this to remember me, it said in the story. Do this in remembrance of me is what we say in the service at church. So now let us say some prayers together. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your love shown to us through Jesus Christ. We thank you that he laid down his life for us. We thank you that in the Bible stories we hear so much 
about him, about his life, about his teaching, about the miracles that he performed. But above all, we bless your name and thank you that he left us something very, very special indeed to remember him by. And we do that with the bread and the wine. So Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the blessing of Holy Communion, that in that mysterious way, we may be linked all the more closely to Jesus in his life, in his death, and in his resurrection. And we give you thanks for all the love that you poured into your world through Jesus. We thank you for the example of service that he gave as with great humility he knelt down to wash the feet of his disciples. And we pray that you would help each one of us to serve the people about us, to help people, to help improve their situation and meet some of their needs. Pray that you would give us guidance and help us as we seek to follow Jesus through this Holy Week and especially today remembering his sacrifice of his self, his body and his blood, and the example of service that he gave us. And this prayer we make in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. So let's join together now and say the prayer that Jesus himself gave to us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And as Father Paul mentioned in the prayers, and as we heard in the story, we heard how Jesus knelt down and washed the feet of his disciples, something that they didn't expect him to do, something that the servants used to do. And he reminded us how we are here to serve him. We're going to sing a song. Well, we're not going to sing, but we're going to hear a song. And you can join in if you like called meekness and majesty it's got some quite difficult words in it and it may be that you like to ask a grown-up or one of your teachers just to go through the words with you because they are very very suitable for today it might not be a song that you know or a hymn you know particularly well it says there that jesus stooped down in humility and washed our feet which is what we think about today. So ask the grown-ups just to go through the words with you, find a hymn book and go through the words with you to see why it's such a good and special hymn for today. So let's sing together, Meekness and Majesty. Yeah. 
Could we have God's blessing on this very, very special day? Of course, of course. So may Jesus, who laid down his life for you and who left us such a wonderful example of service and love, may he guide you in the way forward as you look to grow closer and closer to him and the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit rest upon you today and remain with you always amen, amen. and tomorrow we'll be hearing the next part of this very special week so we look forward to being with you tomorrow again goodbye Bye-bye.